In addition to the responsibility uh, by Kosovo and Serbia authorities in both, both countries, uh, of course, the responsibility in this regard is also uh, held and should be held by uh, by the mediator, in this case, the European Union. I think uh, um, the, the, the process has been uh, very slow with uh, not a lot of... Um, uh, push from their side to really keep the parties engaged and keep the parties committed to the, the process of dialogue. Uh, and uh, we've seen in a lot of cases this perception of biasness of the mediator, both in Serbia, in the public in Serbia, authorities as well, but also uh, um, this perception of biasness uh, in the public and also among the authorities in, in Kosovo, which has created this, really this uh, animosity, I would say, between the parties, but also it has stalled the process uh, in in general. Uh, I think I think for us, uh, it was very important for this process to, of course, impact the the lives of uh, ordinary people, the lives of the community, to to ensure that the rights of the Serb community in Kosovo are fully guaranteed as they are provided with the constitution and any other uh, mechanism that would ensure in full inclusion of Serbs in Kosovo's society, in Kosovo's uh, institutions. Uh, but then also for the process, for us, it's very important that um, Serbia recognizes that there is a new reality in Kosovo and uh, the government of, uh, of Serbia to, uh, as part of this process, to also recognize what has happened during the war in Kosovo uh, to, towards the Albanian community, to, to admit the crimes, to uh, commit to providing justice for the victims, uh, to, to apologize and to really uh, provide reparations for all the victims, but also on the, on the other hand, for uh, government of Kosovo to provide the same for all uh, Serb civilian victims during the, the war. So, and we have seen that there was not much attention on this aspect. And yeah, I think.